Hello again. In this lesson, I'm going to look at two songs from Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. Going back and listening to these songs, I feel a little betrayed because I remember them as being these great rock tracks with Alanis Morissette with her powerful vocals out the front, Taylor Hawkins smashing away at the drums. But if you go back and listen to the recordings, there is a lot of drum machine stuff, kick drum samples, weird little hi-hats and lots of loops going on. So it's not nearly as rocky as I thought it was. So I've broken it down and obviously you could play it on acoustic kit. So let me start off. We're going to do head over feet and to kick things off, it's just hi-hats playing eighth notes. Super easy. In the next part of the verse, we're going to pick up 16th notes on the hi-hats and a little bit of a syncopated pattern between the kick and the snare. And then at the end of the verse, there's just a little pickup fill on the snare drum. That brings us to the chorus. And while I think there is still a 16th note groove kind of going on, the main thing that sticks out for me is a big open hi-hat playing quarter notes. And I think the 16th notes might be being picked up by a tambourine instead. So what I've worked out is just a nice quarter note groove, but the kicks and the snares do change a little bit from bar to bar. So here's the first four bars of the chorus. And then here's the second four bars of the chorus. I'll put those eight bars back together. That loop is basically what you need to play every time there's a chorus. Moving on, we're back into another verse and this one slowly fades out until we're just playing hi-hats again. And then at the end of the hi-hat section, there is just one more little pickup into the harmonica solo. After the solo, there's another breakdown to no drums and then we pick it back up into the chorus groove with this fill. And the chorus groove is very similar, but a couple of the fills have changed. So I'll play through it again. Two. And then towards the end, before the whole song starts fading out, there's just one different little fill as well. Yeah. 
And there we go, that's the drums to Head Over Feet by Alanis Morissette. Lots of loops and lots of drum machine sounds. So make what you can of it on the acoustic kit and I'm sure it will sound fantastic. Moving on, let's do Ironic. Now this one is again pretty straightforward. What we're going to look at first is the pickup fill into that first chorus. One, two. One, two. At the end of the choruses, we just need to catch a couple of hits up on the crash cymbal. It's nice and easy on beat one and the end of two, and then we'll play a crash on beat one of the next bar two. That takes us into a verse, and the verse uses exactly the same drum loop that we just played in the chorus. So that's nice and easy. The next thing we need to look at is the pickup fill into the second chorus. Plenty of Pat Boone, Betty Boone style fills there, so it's great stuff that you will definitely use in other parts of your drumming. From there, we're back into another chorus, eventually the drums drop out, and then when we pick things up, there's another fill going into the last couple of choruses. One, two. And that is all you need to play drums to Ironic by Alanis Morissette. Like I said at the beginning, in my memory, I thought it was this big rock track with huge rock drums, but if you go in and listen closely, you can hear that a lot of the drum sounds are samples or drum machine loops, and so you can make whatever you want of it on your own kit. Hopefully this lesson has been enlightening, so have fun practicing, and I'll see you at the next one.